Okay, Ryan Stassen here. So I'm going to talk to you about setting up separate job type pages for your LSA and why you would want to do that. So here's an example. So I just typed in personal injury lawyer, West Palm Beach. And you can see here that I pulled up Steinger Green and Finer, but I went into his LSA page in order to show you that, you know, this is their page. And the reason why I wanted to show you the page itself is because if I tap right here, you can see that they've also got medical malpractice. They've got, um, they got workers' compensation mixed in here with everything else that's just personal injury. So what it does is it allows the client or prospective client to see just personal injury and basically think that you're just a PI attorney and, you're, and that you're a specialist, number one, which is nice. But number two, what it does is it, it will allow you to keep your numbers separate from one page to another. I'm going to show you here. I put this in a presentation, but I want you to see here that the other thing that you can do is if you want, you can actually set up a domain um, with a .com and you can put that as your name as long as you've got a DBA. So you could actually make it look and feel like that you actually are specializing just in work injury rights. For example, because this, this was a labor law attorney, I typed in labor attorney, Miami, and you can see that they actually set up a separate domain name and they've actually got a DBA for the state of Florida that is work injury rights.com. And therefore they were able to use that as the name of their firm. And you can as your business, if you'd want. So this is really a, a powerful thing to do. Look at this. They've actually got one two, three, I mean, you've got a bunch of these four, five, and each one has a different face, you'll notice. So what they're doing is they're really doing the best they can to optimize. And what they've done is they've got, they've got different locations here, one in Coral Gables, one in Coral Springs, one in Boca Raton, and each one, they put a different picture very strategically which is very, very smart. Okay. So they're really, they're going after work injury rights, but they could just as easily also go after personal injury rights.com and set up separate LSA pages. And I'm just kind of curious here. Let's, let's just go in here and see if they're just doing, yeah, they're just going after workers compensation. So they've made it laser focused. And here's the other really powerful thing I want you to see. Here's the bonus insight. If somebody goes here, they might just go to workinjuryrights.com and type that in. And it's really powerful because then what happens is they don't even pay for the lead because the person goes to their website directly and they call this number and then there's no, they don't have to pay for the lead because the person didn't call from either here or send a request directly from here. So this is a very, very powerful strategy that kind of stacks on top of the strategy that I was talking about in regards to setting up separate LSA pages. Number one, you want a separate LSA pages to keep your pages separate so that you can, you can identify your return on investment more easily uh, by identifying your leads and ultimately your, your cases that you've gotten from the separate pages that you set up. And the other reason is you just want to set up those separate pages so that you don't have all of these other practice types mixed in with what it is that the person typed in to find you for. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. And then the bonus is that you can actually set up a keyword optimized name for your practice, which will help you look more specialized as well. If you've got a DBA, um, that is that because you have to have a DBA in order for LSA to accept that name as your name when you use it for that specific LSA page. Or you can take it one step further and set up a separate .com name and save yourself a ton of money because people will go directly to your, your actual URL here and not call from here. And as you know, you only get charged from Google local service ads when somebody either calls you or sends a request through the Google local service ads platform by either calling here or sending a request. So 
I hope that makes sense. Man, this is a great opportunity. Please comment and subscribe to our channel for all new updates. And there's other really good videos that we're going to post um, here as well in this video that you can go to and, and watch additional information. All right. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.